Hey guys, and welcome back to Fossil Fighters Frontier. In the last episode, uh, we kind of did a little introduction, and now we're in this place. And we were told to go to the elevator to find out our mission. So that is exactly what we're going to do. And we're going to go to the captain's office. Oh, hey, look who finally decided to show up. Pfft, rookie. Er, I was under the impression that we would have eight candidates. Is someone still not here? Very well spotted. Okay. Hello, person running late. I'm assuming Milo's your dog? <sighs> dog who likes to steal machines. Your grandpa's pacemaker? Okay. Tell me about it. Ah, here we go. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Nice to meet you all. I'm the leader of the wardens, Captain Striker. You doing, kid? You're the man who saved the world. It's a real honor to meet you, sir. Thank you. <sighs> you didn't shake the guy's hand. And then you just walk up to the elevator. Right, time for roll call. First up, Penny. Here, sir. Roland. Here. You. Rockin' and rollin'. Leon. Hmm. Nate. Oh, hey, Captain. I'm here, right here, totally ready to go. <laughs> Yamamoto? Present and accounted for. Sydney. Crocky, mate. Got me digger during all y digger do. Is that a reference to the first game? Oh, we talk! You were all chosen to be here today because of your exceptional performance on the third test. But though you all show great promise, you still have plenty to prove if you hope to join the Wardens. First off, we're going to show you the basic skills needed for this job. This includes bone buggy operation, as well as fossil excavation and vivisaur revival. Yay! In fact, you will be required to use the vivisaurs you revive in to pass your warden test. I know this is a lot to take in, but I trust you all can handle it. Of course. Some of you jackaroos look seriously brumble bucket. Throw a shrimp on the barbie, and let me give you a right ear bashing. Well, that's no way to talk to your peers. And of course. Thank you for explaining that to us. Thank you, Yamato. Your enthusiasm is impressive. But he's right. You don't have time for idle chatter. The warden test is daunting, to say the least. However, if I didn't believe in every one of you, you wouldn't be standing here right now. 
Well, thank you for that. The first order of his business is to become familiar with your bone buggies. Leave this building and head past the large mechanical dinosaur in the open square outside. There, you'll find the bone buggy deep pot, or what we call the garage. The instructor will be waiting for you. Speak to him to proceed. Good luck to everyone, and let's be cautious out there. Dismissed! You've acquired a light four-wheel drive bone buggy. Yay. <laughs> I was a nervous wreck in there. My hands are still shaking. My knees, too. I mean, it's not every day you meet someone as famous as Captain Stryker. What do you mean? Ah, oh, we, get, we get choices. Uh, you know, I'll sympathize with her. I know, right? I think it's normal to be nervous when you meet someone like that. Glad I wasn't the only one. Anyway, you probably heard this in roll call, but my name's Penny. Nice to meet you, Arlu. Head to your next lesson. Okay, so we have to go outside these doors. And then over to the garage, which is past the mechanical dinosaur. So uh, let's go do that. Here's the mechanical dinosaur. And... Oh, you're all new, right? You here for the driving lesson? Me too! Bone buggies are the best. They're the main reason why I want to become a warden, actually. It's my dream to cruise around in a bone buggy for hours on end, going faster and faster and faster. What do you think? Um, bone buggies rule. <laughs> yes, I knew you would understand. I like you already. I mean, it's cool enough that they have excavation arms, but they also have engines, tires, and a bunch of other parts that are totally customizable. Oh! And if you become a warden, you get sweet compete. You get to compete in time attacks. I'm totally freaking out here. Okay, girl, breathe. Breathe. Sorry, I'm such a gearhead sometimes. Yeah, we can see that. Well, I'm off to my lesson. See you around. Which is like just two steps down. So let's let's go let's, let's go get our boogie and uh, let, let, let's talk to you. Hello there, I'm Louis Wren. I'll be in your instructor today. Are you ready to begin your lesson? So ready. Then hop in your bone buggy and let's get the show on the road. Open Sesame, Paradise Beach. First, a quick bit of important advice. You can't save while at a dig site. Joy. Which means, you can't save during this lesson either. So hang tight until you're back at Fossil Park, okay? Now, are you ready to begin? All right, before that, allow me to introduce your assistant. This is a brand new, state-of-the-art, onboard navigation system, better known as Vroom. How original. Greetings. My job is to support fighters from within our interrogated network. I look forward to serving you. Excellent. Now, how about we get this lesson started? First, take a look over here. Where? Ah. That was a basic rundown on how your bone buggy operates. Now press A in driving around. The glowing balls you're picking up, if you pick those up, your bone buggy's performance will improve a little bit. Okay. How to do this, how to do this. C 
See that Vivisaur over there? I put him there myself. Thank you for that. I want you to use your bone buggy to chase him down. Oh, joy. Uh, go! No! Darn it. <laughs> Come on! I believe in you, Bone Buggy! Come on, keep going. Go, 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 go! Come on, keep driving. Wow, this car is so slow. Why is this car so slow? Seriously, come on. Up, go, go. Hey. Okay, we're almost there. All right, come on. Can't mess this up now. Seriously, why is this taking so long? What's the gosh darn Vivisaur that we're trying to catch? Come on. Oh, we're so close! We're so close! Great, you caught up with him. We're just showing you how things work, so you don't actually have to fight him. Usually, though, you'll run straight into battle anytime you run into a Vivisaur. Here's a couple of more nice little bone buggy techniques, by the way. These tricks make getting around curves a lot easier. Next, let's try searching up for some fossils. We'll use the fossil sonar, sonar equipped on your hello cat. First, let's head for the bottom of the flashing red flag icon on the bottom. So that means I have to go... This way? Nope. Um... Bit of technical difficulties here. We have to go this way! I'm pretty sure. This way. Here we go. And then over here. Alright, you made it! In the area ahead, you'll find three different types of dinosaur fossils hidden away. For the purpose of the lesson, you won't lose any fossils to fail to dig up, so don't worry too much about your performance. Just go out there and do your best, okay? Now use your sonar fossil, your, your fossil sonar. Press L and let's kick off the search. Okay, let's go, let's, let's go find some, uh... If I can drive. Okay. So pressing L. Oh, 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 right here. Well done, you've tracked down a fossil. Let's get right down to digging, shall we? You don't even have to leave your bone buggy. Oh, okay. First, let me explain how digging controls work. The number is your battery strength. Basically, the amount you have to complete the excavation. The blue meter reaches the white marker before the battery hits zero. You will successfully es excavate this bottle. Okay. And tap X. Okay. 
The green area shows the part that is still buried beneath the rock. Okay, got that. By navigating the bottom screen, you can carve through stone and remove the fossil from its rocky prison. Tap the icons to switch between the tools you have currently. Use a hammer when trying to break up large expanse of rock. And use the drill when you want to carve away at a smaller, finer region of the rock. Use your tools to the fullest and digging up fossils under town. Now let's have a try. Okay. So 80 seconds. Um, let's try the hammer. Oops. I totally don't know how this works. Oops. Darn it, darn it, darn it. A uh, drill. Okay, so just this. Um, this, 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 this. Oh, ninety-two, really? Ha. Huh. Okay, ninety-two points. I will accept that. It looks like I damaged it more than I saved it, but okay. Revival, 92 points. What is this vivisaur? Lophus. Head fossil. This is the first fossil you've seen from this vivisaur. Commencing revival. Oh, that looks cool. Lophus MN. Hmm. Different stances. Herbivore, region of Asia. Oh, that's pretty cool actually. Never I don't think it gave it much detail uh in the first two games. A low FP, high accuracy high accuracy skill. Best against rear facing foes. Hmm. Interesting. Superb digging. Sup superb digging. The revival is complete. Dino gears. Let's keep searching. There might be other fossils lurking nearby. Once you've had enough, we can head back to the fossil park. Alright. Uh, so let's try to find, I think, at least one more fossil. Ow. Let's see. Can we... Why is this blocked off? Okay, so where is it? It says there's a fossil... Oh, there it is. And drive up and not hit the wall. There we go. Fossil located. And again. So this is what we have to work with. I don't this is the screen is I don't like the screen. I mean, it's kind of hard to see, I'm not gonna lie. Or maybe that's just me.
I have no idea how well I'm doing. I don't even think I'm doing that well. Only 64? I'm gonna need to practice with this. Sungari. Oh, you, you, that, this Vithasaur is in the previous games. That's a cool skeleton, though. <laughs> Only rank one. Facial pick. Best against upward facing foes. Okay. Okay, so let's back up. Because there's one more fossil over here I believe we can get to. What is it? Start. Darn it. This is very hard, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the drill isn't strong enough, but then the, the, whatchamacallit, the, just breaks through everything. I don't even know what to do, mate. I'm breaking this thing more than I'm helping it. I'm not doing that like, terrible. That's insane. Pro tip. Oh, look at the little guy. Rank two. A low FP skill that fills boost quickly does not affect the opponent's stance. So I said there were three Vivsaurs. We got three Vivsaurs. I think we are okay uh, to head on out of here. So uh, let's do that. Let's head on out. Was my cat distracting me? What? What the heck? A rogue dinosaur? Slash my car. Before you check the your opponent's element type, oh, be sure. Uh, to change your vivid, so press X. Fire type opponent. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, fire type. I got a fire type. Is that how it works? If 
Also, battle has begun. It's your turn to attack. Select a skill for your Vivisaur to use, then, okay. Uh, well, we only have one attack. 31 damage, okay. Did a lot. Ah! Try firing an LP recovery support shot. Oh, we got all our HP back. Awesome. Well, I was done with this guy anyway. Twenty five. Hmm. Let's try and attack up. Oh, that's too much. Oh, he's done. Okay. Six points. Woohoo! Awesome. Rank up. Well, that's fun. They sure receive experience for winning battles, yes. As they gain experience, the rank goes up, and which turn makes them stronger. In other words, the more you battle, the stronger your Vivisaurs get, so fight as often as you can. Fossilary. Okay. Let me tell you a bit about more support shots. You use support shots while you were fighting, right? The good news is, you don't have to worry about them ever using them up. They get replenished automatically so whenever you return to the park, so don't be afraid to fire away. Okay, so uh, we got three Vivasaurs. Uh, we learned how to drive a buggy, kind of. Uh, we fought off a rogue Vivasaur, and now we're back here. So I think in the next episode, um, we're going to go back into the HQ, and we're going to find out exactly what we're supposed to be doing. So, if you guys are liking this series, leave a comment saying you do, and uh, I will see you guys in the next episode of Fossil Fighters Frontier.